What you learn from Mary Patton's story is that sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. It's time for Cool Weird Awesome, where we're on course for a pretty amazing story. I'm Brady. It's Wednesday, April 6th, the birthday in 1837 of Mary Patton. She became something of a celebrity when she came along on a shipping trip led by her husband and ended up in charge of that trip. She came from a well-off family in Boston and married Joshua Patton at age 16. He was a sea captain, and not long after they were married, he had to fill in for a sick colleague on a trip from the East Coast to San Francisco. This was before the Panama Canal, so these trips meant sailing all the way around Cape Horn and South America. Joshua agreed to go as long as he could bring his wife along with him. Mary Patton helped out by learning how to sail and to navigate. That trip was successful. It took place in 1854. Two years later, the Patton set out again for San Francisco, but this trip was anything but smooth sailing. Joshua Patton caught his first mate sleeping on the job and neglecting his duties, which meant the ship was running much slower than it needed to. He ended up confining the first mate and essentially trying to do that job while also serving as captain. The extra workload took its toll. Joshua developed a fever and had to stay in bed. The only person on the ship who could navigate, who was healthy, and who wasn't locked up was Mary Patton. So she took charge of the trip. She navigated while also trying to tend to her husband. At one point, the first mate tried to get the rest of the crew to turn against the Pattons and put him in charge, but the crew stuck with Mary. Good thing, too, because later in the ship, Joshua let the first mate free. He then tried to put them on course for Chile. The whole trip took 130 days. Mary Patton said later she had to wear the same clothes for 50 of them. She got the ship where it needed to go, protected all the cargo, and fended off a possible mutiny, all at age 19 and pregnant. The shipping company gave her a $1,000 bonus, and she was hailed in newspapers coast to coast for rising to the occasion. Sadly, neither she nor her husband would live much longer, but Mary Patton's story keeps right on sailing. And you can learn more about her life and her time as a sea captain at CoolWeirdAwesome.com and on Twitter at CoolWeirdPod. And coming up, we'll look up and see something that's pretty spectacular. That's after this. Make Cool Weird Awesome even cooler with your voice. What's your favorite weird world record? The strangest statue you've ever seen? The fun fact that nobody knows but everybody should? Send us a voice message on the Anchor app. Or try a voice tweet. Or call our listener line at 603-717-4653. That's 603-717-4653. Make sure to include your name and where you're from. And you might hear yourself on the show. Welcome back. Here's a term for you, lunar libration. That's when the moon kind of sways in its orbit around Earth. Photographer Andrew McCarthy put together a time lapse of the moon's phases that shows that lunar libration in all its glory. By the way, there are some 2 million images that are part of the project. I'm Brady. Don't try to count them all as you watch. Thanks for listening and come back again tomorrow for more cool, weird, awesome. Another helpful Brady Carlson project.